to be dead a bystander as well and potentially somebody else i mean this is going to raise major questions about what went wrong how this could possibly happen in this heightened threat environment that you talked about all the training all the preparation knowing the conventions are coming up this would be a massive security failure well the question will be what kind of uh, security did they have for people in the crowd? You know, did they have magnetometers? You know, those kind of questions will need to be resolved and answered. And again, we don't yet know all the details of how this unfolded. You know, there are just so many scenarios where you could have law enforcement responding to the popping sound. So again, the Secret Service right now, their mode is protect, protect, protect. That was their primary concern, was to get the president out of harm's way, get him removed. Briefing us, getting information to us is so secondary. But trust me, the Justice Department, FBI, all these different agencies are trying to get information so they can assess the threat environment and look at security across the board. Because this is not going to be viewed just as an isolated incident. This potentially impacts everything going forward with and you see how quickly again our viewers looking at this video of the moment as it occurred you see how quickly it happened and initially the reaction from the crowd and one of the first things you see the former president do is reach for his right ear then goes to the ground and then you see this human shield of secret service agents jumping on top of him before they escorted him out and at this <laughs> The immediate aftermath here, people are confused in the crowd, looking around, not clear what's going on. Why is nobody getting down? Major, major questions as we get more information tonight. But again, that from the district attorney, that it appears the shooter is dead and at least one bystander dead too. Um, oh my God. Oh, forgive me. I'm getting information as, as I'm coming out. We have uh, Dave McCormick on the phone right now with us who is at the rally. Um, yep, running for, running for Senate. Um, and, and Dave, forgive me as I'm just getting this information. The crowd's not freaked out at all. At the rally, could you could just walk us through what you heard and what you saw. Yeah, hi. Um, yes, um, I was, uh, I'm the Republican nominee for, uh, for the Senate in Pennsylvania. I was in the front row. Uh, and, um, and President Trump had just... Uh, announced me and said he was going to have me come up on the stage and said, well, well, wait a minute. And then there were a number of shots, I think probably seven or eight shots. Um, it, it, it wasn't clear whether they were come from one place or two places, at least I couldn't tell. And um, immediately there was a swarm of Secret Service officers that, uh, you know, got on top of and knocked down President Trump and got on top of them. And, uh, and then he they, she stood back up and you sort of saw this fist come out sort of a defiant that, uh, that looked like he was okay, but I, but I you know, couldn't tell for sure. It looked like there was some blood, but it, it, it wasn't obvious. And then the entire crowd went to the ground. No, they didn't. I'm not sure whether the shots were done. And, and then unfortunately, over my shoulder, someone had clearly been hit. Um, I was on the, I was in the, uh, the, on the ground. And up in the bleachers, probably three or four bleachers uh, up behind me, uh, it looked like there was a man who was it was severely injured. Was oh my God! And um, and his people around him were trying to administer first aid. And then uh, the police, uh, some police officers came in and started him out, and presumably took him to get the uh, uh, first you know first aid. Um, that, that's really all I could see. I don't know if there were other people injured, um, and I don't know if there was anybody apprehended, uh, because as you might imagine, it, it, once that happened, it, the crowd was uh, it was very uh, chaotic, and it was very hard to know what was going on. And uh, we're still there at the rally, just sitting trying to get out because the traffic is so backed up. And, and, and Dave, your uh, your account. Uh, seems to confirm some of this reporting that we're getting about a shooter and potential bystanders who were hurt. Um, just talk more about y your initial reaction. I mean, seeing this, you're, you're running for Senate in the state of Pennsylvania. You're about to walk up on the stage. You're getting introduced by the former president. And then you hear these shots ring out and the chaos in the crowd. Um, what was going through your mind in that moment? Well, you know, uh, it's, it, it takes a minute to process. It, you, pe people started to panic um, all around. You could feel, you know, people were very scared. And so, um, you know, everybody just dropped to the ground. And, uh, you know, it felt a bit very obvious that the, the president was under assault, uh, you know, and, and, and very much at risk. And it wasn't clear that he was okay to, to begin with.
with. And then, you know, once this starts to sink in, you know, you're thinking, are there still shooters out there? You know, are they, you know, are they going to target other people? And, uh, you know, so to, it, like these, you know, situations I was in, I was in the military previously, you know, you, you realize over time that the facts start to come together, so you got to be careful not to draw too many conclusions early on. But I think what we all felt was a sense of, oh, my Lord, we're, you know, everybody's in danger because there's clearly a shooter, at least one shooter in, in, the, in the crowd and maybe more. And, uh, you know, really, a, I think, scary for everybody who was there. And shocking. Even more than, even more than scary, just shocking. Because if you were in the middle of this rally, and it was, you know, kind of fun, and people were, you know, enthusiastic, and, and, uh, and all of a sudden, the, you know, the, it turned, was turned upside down. That's awful. What does this say to you about our state of division and the politics in this country right now? And mental well, health. You know, I don't want to draw any conclusions before I know, know more about it, but, you know, obviously it's, uh, you know, if you're a public official, if you're a presidential candidate and, you know, your, your safety's at risk, that's scary for all of us, no matter what party you're, you're in. And so I, I think it's, uh, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a moment to take stock. 